her there. Yeah. Hi everybody, my name is Angie Hopps and I am a birth doula and a childbirth educator here in Kitsap County, Washington. And I am at Nurturing Expressions here in Polsbo with my lovely friend, Elizabeth Montez. She is one of the sweetest, most kind people I know. And she is just so <laughs> awesome to do this video with us here at their store. Awesome, well thank you for the great introduction, Angie. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. Um, so thanks for coming by. I'm so excited to get to share with everyone all the great stuff that we do here at Nurturing Expressions. Um, it's been a labor of love and we are so excited to be here and be part of the resources available in Kitsap County. It's wonderful. Yeah. Um, a little just back history of how we got here mm -hmm. is actually Tracy Corey. She's the owner. She's a um, internationally board certified lactation consultant. Uh, as well as a registered nurse, and she's been in health and wellness for well over 20 years now. She um, started, she was doing home health care nursing and um, lactation uh, visits, and realized that moms were really not having access to a lot of the products and services that they needed, and that was over in Seattle. But she's originally from Kingston, so she's a total Kitsap girl too. Oh. And um, so about 10, 15 years ago, while she was doing her home visits, she started just accumulating some breast pumps just because it was something that moms needed um, a lot of times while they were having their lactation visits. And so she developed the whole nurturing expressions business um, just from a, just like breastfeeding, supply and demand. <laughs> so it's true. It's yeah. So, um, so then she really built that up over in Seattle and I was a client actually three years ago. I had I know that. Yeah. So I had some pretty tough times nursing my daughter and um, really kind of brought about um, an invigorated passion in me to bring some resources to us over here in Kitsap because we were missing a lot of mm -hmm. things. And um, the awesome thing is it seems like there was a lot of really dynamic folks who all realized the same thing at about the same time. And the birth community here in Kitsap has just in the yeah. last couple years. And so, but three years ago when I had my daughter, um, you know, there was, um, I only was aware of one lactation consultant, uh, Melissa, who is phenomenal mm -hmm. and I adore her and she's incredible, um, but we needed a breast pump. And I called my insurance, and the only place to get one was in Seattle. And when you're dealing with a tongue-tied baby who's not nursing and losing weight and everything's going on, the That's last, a long ways to go. It's a very long ways yeah. to go. And then there was other folks um, whose insurance would just send them a pump without um, asking what they wanted or showing them how to use it. And this was kind of the scenario over here was um, we really, there was just a lack of, of options and availability, and then also connectedness. So, um, you know, we had great midwives, we have great doulas, we have everything, and everything was kind of, you know, maybe you'd find one person, and maybe they would know one other person, and you'd kind of do this hopscotch mm -hmm. thing. And um, once I kind of, we got over our nursing hump, we nursed two years. Cool. So yeah, we went from, you know, touch and go, um, not nursing at all to being able to Experts. make it almost yeah, two years. So um, Jen Watson always likes to say I got my PhD in boobies from, uh -huh. from nursing Fiona. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, as the years went by, I just kind of really wanted to get involved somehow. Mm -hmm. And um, it just so happened that Tracy was looking to bring uh, Nurturing Expressions over to Kitsap back to her hometown. And we kind of collaborated and my background and her dreams and this great place kind of came together and we said let's do it and um, you know so we came together and we now have this nurturing expressions is a durable medical supplier is technically what we right. are because you so, guys have more than just exact breastfeeding stuff but um, our focus is really on nurturing people at all ages and stages mm -hmm. that's the um, the mission so or nurturing families rather mm -hmm. at all ages and stages so really from maternity pregnancy birth breastfeeding and then we actually have a whole side of the business where we are able to help people through mastectomy post medical wow. complication or post surgical complications and um, we do compression garments that are great for a lot of pregnant moms or yeah. um, post delivery moms need some sort of compression garments, all the way through, um, you know, post-surgical, um, and especially.
especially breast cancer survivors need a lot of different garments that we're able to take care of. So awesome. we have this whole range of things. And then on top of it, we also just love baby things. Mm -hmm. So we also have some really great mother baby supplies. And um, what's near and dear to my heart is also helping connect folks with their resources. Mm -hmm. So when, I love that. Yes, that's, and that's my favorite part, to be perfectly honest. So we, um, it's not just come in, we hand you a breast pump. It's come in, we're gonna get to know you, we're gonna talk about what's going on, if you want. If you just want a breast pump, that's fine too. We won't force you to have a conversation with us. But um, you definitely feel very comfortable walking in here. You definitely well, just, it's mellow and nice and friendly. and That's yeah, great. Awesome, that's, we, we really want that. That's a huge part of our goal, is we want our moms to come and feel welcome and like they're part of our family. Mm -hmm. And it's such an important and difficult time. A lot of times, you know, it's scary, it's mm -hmm. new. Um, either it's new and you don't know what to expect or maybe you've had a hard experience and you're scared of the next go round. So, um, you know, we really like to make folks feel welcome and they're able to come in and pick our brains for resources too. We keep our community board. We can help refer folks, um, let them know who awesome doulas in the area like yourself. Um, we know about the resource or the support groups. I'm also on, um, I'm also a Hope Circle facilitator mm -hmm. and board member. So um, another cause near and dear to my heart. So, you know, we can talk very frankly and supportively about um, all of the emotional changes that are coming on. There's a lot of us that are experienced breastfeeders and we love to help with a peer-to-peer -peer style support. Um, if you know, moms just need a little bit of encouragement with things that are going on, we're all very knowledgeable on the breast pump. So even if someone just has a question and they just wanna say, how does this thing work? <laughs> you know, we're happy to walk you through it. We can pump with our moms, check to make sure that the breast shields are the right size. That's important to oh, have all so important. everything fit correctly. Definitely. So in the space that we're in here, which you can only see the couch right now, we'll take <laughs> a bit of a tour in a bit, um, but moms can come in and you know if you're out in this area and you just need a place to stop and change your baby, there's yes. a changing station, there's a scale, so if you want to nurse your baby and weigh to see how much they're getting, that's here. And it's just kind of a drop in. Absolutely. Do whatever is comfortable. Absolutely. We call this the community room and we okay. want all of our moms to know that this room is absolutely available to our community. So it's, we also host some, we have networking groups who meet here. Uh, we've always, we, it's open if someone has a meeting, you know, we have moms sometimes who want to do a Craigslist drop off or something, you know, say you're buying diapers from somebody and you want a safe place to meet them. Oh, um, this is a really great opportunity for that you know sometimes you don't want to meet a craigslist person right. at your house <laughs> um and yeah like you said um you know central markets over there i remember when my daughter was young uh, just leaving the house was really overwhelming yeah, it is. especially because i was like where am i going to change this thing's diaper and how mm -hmm. am i going to get her in my boob and central market is so terrifying anyways <laughs> and um so yeah we've got this great couch it's really comfy we've got nursing pillows to use mm -hmm. We've got a changing table that's coffee clean and water. And coffee, yeah, tea. water, tea, everything. So we really we love to see moms pop by. We like to develop relationships and get that's to lovely. know you. Mm -hmm. So we love when folks just drop by and hang out and see us. Um, so the two things that I that come up like in my classes and with my clients, um, one is breast pumps. How do you get a breast pump? How do you go about calling your insurance? provider and just it just seems like a hassle to a lot of people they just they feel stuck and they don't know how to move forward to get one um, and then support group meeting also so, is something I send people to so Thursday mornings Thursday mornings so um, the, it's very most Thursday mornings okay. I would encourage folks to check us out on our Facebook page mm -hmm. uh, or just give a call and check in because every once in a while like this week for example uh, Tracy's attending the um, International Tongue Tie Conference, oh, wow. which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So she is all you know. She's got lots of things going on, um, and she really tries to keep our Thursday group, um, you know, carved out and available so that we're able to have the group on as regular basis as possible. But every now and then, things happen. So 
this week it's canceled, we always make sure that we put it on our Facebook. Our staff always knows, so you can just give a call or check the Facebook page. <laughs> and I would encourage actually everyone to like and follow our Facebook page Absolutely. and join our group as well. We have a, a group specific to nurture or to Kitsap County Nurturing Expressions. And um, definitely and that'll all be in the description down below. I'll post oh, links so fantastic. you can find it. Great, um, that's wonderful. So yeah, we would encourage folks to, to join the group because that's a great place to just get to us directly, ask questions. Uh, we have events and special things going on and we put the calendar up and everything. So it's a really great way to stay connected. Um, so that is definitely, and breastfeeding support group is phenomenal. Um, again, back when I was having a hard time nursing my daughter, I really wish we'd had something like that available. Mm -hmm. um, it's more than just a support group. I mean, it is. We've got the the peer-to-peer -peer support, which I think is fantastic. I actually love the group model mm -hmm. because usually we have anywhere from two to six moms, and everyone's on different parts of their journey. And so you may have a mom of a newborn who doesn't know, you know, what to do or what's coming next, and then we may have a mom of a toddler who's trying to figure out how to you know, adjust baby to, um, you know, keep comfortably nursing through the toddler mm -hmm. years and all of the fun things that come with yeah. that. So, um, and then those moms can kind of talk to each other and share stories and encourage each other and make connections. Um, because sometimes and pregnant moms too, pregnant oh, moms yeah. should come and ask questions. Um, tell me a little bit about when moms want a breast pump and how they go about getting one. Do they need prescription from their doctor and when they get that what do they do with it awesome that is a great question Angie it is one of the primary things we see clients for um, it's usually kind of what brings people in and then they come and stay forever um, so <laughs> become our, our lifelong friends things. exactly and become our lifelong friends um, so the the tricky thing is that every insurance is different um, but what I can tell you is that we are networked with most of the insurances and okay. we actually are very knowledgeable, even on the ones we're not networked with, we're very friendly people as opposed to sometimes if you call uh, a toll, you know, line, a hotline or something through your insurance, sometimes you get the runaround. Mm -hmm. So um, I can give you the basics, which yep. is that um, most, well, the very basic is that um, all moms should know the Affordable Care Act says that every single insurance needs to be giving every single parent, usually the, the birthing parent, mm -hmm. um, a breast pump if they so desire it, um, at no cost to the mom. So there, awesome. it is really great, and this is huge. So every single insurance has some sort of breast pump option. And that's for every child, every right? So every child. kid that they have? Yes, um, and some of them even have um, you know different terms so that's where it gets into like murky territory different. sometimes there's stuff you know there's a year limit or you know things like that so um, but to start with but to start with so get one. if you are pregnant and you are having a baby you will be able to get some sort of breast pump through your insurance some of them have options that aren't as desirable as others and that's unfortunate um, but you know, at least there's a baseline. Okay. It's a start. Um, so the primary private insurances that we deal with are um, Regents, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Primera, um, Group Health. Um, those are the biggies out here anyways. Okay. So um, those, we are in network, we're preferred providers. For most folks, there's grandfathered clauses. So this is where it gets into being very individualized. So we would suggest giving us a call and we are happy to kind of give you our info. We can also help you call your insurance. Okay. So if someone comes in with their card and they're like, I don't know what to do, we can call the insurance, we speak insurance. So we're able to kind of <laughs> sift through that legalese. We also have really great handouts that if um, folks would rather do the calling themselves, you can do that also. Okay. Um, but, um, you know, so that's, that's the main thing with the, most of the private insurances, they don't require a, um, a, a prescription. So oh, Primera, wow. Blue Cross Blue Shield, Regents. Um, if you get one, that's fantastic. Um, but for the most part, we just need to know who your doctor or midwife is and, um, and we're able to proceed very quickly. It's so how soon should moms be coming in? 
with it's, that prescription before they have the baby? It's up to moms, and some of the insurances do have special stipulations. So some okay. require waiting to your third trimester. There's a very few that require waiting for baby to be born. Okay. Um, so it's really, again, I would say just give us a call, and um, you know we can kind of help sift through that. Okay. Most of the Apple Health plans do require baby to be born. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's one of theirs. Um, so the Apple Health ones, there you absolutely can get a breast pump through Apple Health. Sometimes it's through us, sometimes it's not through us. Okay. Um, but again, that would be a case by case, uh, depending on the plan and the different networks. Yeah. So. Do you have um, any like tidbits of information about Tricare? Oh, Tricare, absolutely. So we are absolutely. Um, networked with TRICARE and um, we are actually one of, I think one of their, um, well, the, we're the only local provider. Okay. So only place you can come in with your TRICARE, either prescription or authorization, and walk out with a breast pump. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's really good info. Um, if you are seen at Naval, then you just need to ask your PCM for an authorization and they'll put it through the referral management system and then they just automatically generate an authorization that's sent to us. And so we get probably, you know, we get a stack of authorizations every day and we'll call up everyone and we say, hey, we got your authorization, feel free to come on in. Yeah, and those are six month authorizations that you can come in anytime during those six months. Do make sure that you're asking your PCM uh, during pregnancy because I do know that they will issue those during the final trimester of pregnancy. Okay. So it's nice, you know, it's part of the TRICARE policy that they offer that, and TRICARE's policy actually is extra fantastic. They will cover the breast pump and any pumping supplies for up to three years following the, the birth wow. event. Wow, well that's yeah. supported. <laughs> Including adoption. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, um, you know, that's really fantastic if someone's adopting a baby and wants to induce lactation. Mm -hmm. That's that's an option. Um, they will absolutely cover a breast pump for that. Um, and there are no upgrades or charges through TRICARE for any of the breast pumps that we carry. So, oh, so cool. um, really I'm kind of surprised. I know, awesome. I know, I <laughs> know, most people are. So, um, and so that, they can walk in, get a breast pump from you guys, mm -hmm. you can show them how to use it. Absolutely. Before they go. Definitely. Cool. And get them hooked up with all of the additional supplies and, um, you know, parts that they may need, as well as freezer storage bags which is big um, yeah. because that can add up. And there's lots of great uh, options. We've got the Kindy Twist system, which is a really great storage system that hooks into any of the breast pumps that we carry and actually has twist on uh, bags with twist on lids. So you're not oh, wow. spilling milk everywhere. You're not having to wash dishes. So that's a really awesome. cool thing, yeah. So yeah, the TRICARE breast pump policy, phenomenal. And uh, we can absolutely uh, walk you through that. It's very, very easy. And then if you see a doctor out in town, uh, we they do, TRICARE does have very specific language that they need to see on the prescription. Okay. So what we would recommend is before you go see your doctor for in the third trimester, um, just go ahead and touch base with us and we can give you a sample prescription to bring with your doctor so your doctor can copy it exactly. Oh, nice. Because they do require very like exact particular. words in a specific order okay. <laughs> and a bunch of things. So um, yeah, just let us know and we'll give you a sample you can take to your doctor. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So we are going to end this video for now, but we are going to walk around Nurturing Expressions and take a little tour. So that one will be linked up with this video. Thank great. you so much for watching. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Angie. It's lovely. It's always fun to talk with you, especially to talk to you too. on camera. I know. <laughs> How cool. Excellent. So come in to Nurturing Expressions, meet Elizabeth and the crew, which you'll get to meet here in a few minutes. Um, and thanks for watching. Awesome. Take care, you guys. Bye. See you soon. Bye.